Okay, we are looking at the model of the neuron here. You can see a single neuron um, trying to communicate with other neurons or here you can see a muscle in the background on this model. So the point of uh, interaction between the neuron and the muscle or neuron to neuron we call synapse. Uh, synapse means junction. So let's look at the parts of the neuron. So if you see this looks like any other cell with all the parts of a cell like the nucleus, nuclear membrane, nuclear pores, and nucleolus, the ER, endoplasmic reticulum with ribosomes, rough ER without ribosomes, smooth ER, then you can see the mitochondria, you can see the lysosomes, peroxisomes, you can see the Golgi apparatus, the vesicles, all the structures like any other cell. But now we are going to look at more specific structures that are for the neuron. Okay, so first let's start with the central part of the cell, the big part of the cell, the largest is your cell body or soma and then you can see the projections coming off of the soma, we call them dendrites and then this long tail like portion you see in blue that's your axon and the point at which the axon joins the soma or connects to the soma, they call it the axon hillock. And you can see some neurofibrils, those tiny thin lines you can see. And this is the initial segment of your axon. And then the axon continues all the way, you can see inside. But on the outside is surrounded by fatty layers. The fatty substance is your myelin. The structure is your myelin sheath. And the gap between the adjacent myelin sheets we call node of Ranvier. But if you open up, you can see inside uh, the layers of myelin. And you can see the axon. Uh, and then you can see here this tiny uh, round oval structure. That's your nucleus of the Schwann cell. They consider it as a cell because it has its own tiny nucleus. Then you call it Schwann cell. So the fat is myelin, the structure is myelin sheath, but if you want to call it a cell, you call it Schwann cell, okay? And uh, if you see in the cytoplasm of the cell body, you see these uh, little granules, or uh, these dart-like structures, those we call nissle bodies. They are necessary to maintain the neuron besides other cellular organelles. So this uh, neuron ends in the muscle or another neuron. So at the very end of the neuron, you'll see these branches coming off of the neuron. They call them synaptic terminals, and each terminal will synapse with the uh, motor end plate in case of the muscle or another dendrite or soma or uh, synaptic terminal of another neuron.